Hello friends, welcome back to Sale 3 for Tips and Tricks YouTube channel. Uh, we are getting so many requests that our subscribers want to learn how to model and design roundabout in Civil 3D. So here we are starting the series for the roundabout modeling and designing in Civil 3D. Uh, let's get started. So as you can see on my screen, I have a four leg roundabout and it has two lane two way approaches and uh, two lane circulatory carriageway so first if you want to learn how to uh, prepare the layout of the roundabout i mean the 2d design so you can go on our youtube channel there we have uh, five videos where we cover uh, various parameter of roundabout roundabout jacks and etc so you can uh, go to our channel subscribe it and you can learn uh, 2D roundabout design. Once you go through it and uh, prepare your 2D layout, then we can uh, start building this 3D roundabout. So let's get start from the basic steps because we want that our uh, uh, new followers, I mean the uh, who are learning from first time civil 3D and also who are just uh, pass out from the college can also learn. So we are start from very basic things. Uh, <clears throat> in civil 3D, anything you want to model uh, in 3D, it called corridor. Corridor is basically your 3D uh, model of your roadway, of your junction, of your roundabout. So if you want to model 3D, I mean you want to model corridor, you need basically three things: alignment profile and assembly or cross-section so without this thing you cannot model uh, the 3d so when you design uh, when you start uh, modeling this roundabout you need to start with the basic steps so first you need to decide the alignments so let's see how many alignments we require to model this roundabout and for that we need to understand how we're going to model this so let's get start from this bottom so first we having uh, this a normal section of road which can be modeled from your center line so you have a center line alignment and its profile and you need to have a two lane two way assembly so you can model this bit of part the next thing will come up on uh, this part this part will be tricky because you cannot model this with the center line as you can see you have an island you have a circulatory uh, width and your width and slope everything varies so it cannot be able to build with the center line element profile and the normal assembly so this bit of part you need to model with your age alignment so you need to model uh, design your age alignment you need to design your age profile now the age profile uh, designing is a bit tricky because you need uh, to tie in on the both uh, level and the slope with your normal section and with your roundabout section. So you need to tie in here and here as well here and here. So your level should match on both ends. Then you can design this. So we have a center line, then we have age alignment which can uh, tie in on the both end then we have a, a need to have a target alignment well target alignment is this bit of thing because this thing also need uh, to tie in on your normal section and your roundabout so this is another section why do we need two alignment age alignment and uh, target alignment well, as your roundabout will build, the level will be here and level will be here different. It's not necessary, it will be perfectly 2%. It has 1% or 1.5 or anything depending on your roundabout uh, profile. And that is the reason we need to model these two separate alignments. We cannot build the normal 2% uh, slope entire area because it will be changed over here. So it need to be a smooth transition from minus 2.0% to whatever the slope you will get here. So that's the next thing. And uh, fourth alignment what we need is 
your uh, ICD alignment and its a profile I mean your uh, circular tree roundabout profile and alignment so we need to have these four alignments and these three alignments for all the four legs same we need to have a uh, profiles for uh, age alignment and the target alignment which can tie in with the slope and the level of your normal section as well as your roundabout and the, we need to have assemblies basically we need three assemblies but when we model it in detail we will may require the more assemblies so basically we need three assembly one is for your normal section one is your approach sections and one for your roundabout section so uh, this is prerequisite for the roundabout design I mean this is the simplest way I can explain you how you're going to model and what are the things you required before you start modeling it we going to model uh, each and every element so we are going to show you and uh, there are other things you need to taken care of while designing the profile uh, alignment and assembly well for alignment you need to uh, take care that your alignment tie in on the both end and it should be a tangential your profile you need to uh, design such a way that uh, you need to take uh, where is your high point and low point fall you cannot have a low point here uh, because you don't want any water to constant uh, water to be here it should be somewhere here or far away from the roundabout so you need to design your uh, profile such a way that your low point fall away from your roundabout approach same thing you need to take care of that your cross slope which is minus 2.5 here and well it comes to about here it should be have between 0.5 to 2.5 percent you cannot have any steeper slope because it will be a difficult for the vehicle to maneuver from uh, minus 2.5 percent to 2 percent and uh, go into roundabout so you need to take care that you have a smooth slopes and also on the longitude so you need to take care you don't have any much uh, steep gradient because it will be uh, difficult for the vehicle to maneuver in the roundabout so those are the things you need to take care of while designing profile and the last thing is the assembly you need to take care of how many uh, assemblies you need because you have a bit complex you have a tool in two way with a harsh sweep or harsh shoulder and your verge and uh, footway here at the roundabout you need to have a curve on this island so definitely will require so many assemblies to model the entire roundabout so yeah this is the introductory uh, video for the roundabout first step in next video we're going to design uh, our alignment start designing our alignments so yeah stay please subscribe our channel so you can have a uh, latest update of our videos thank you thanks for watching